Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. Today we are playing as Abel, the character that is built all around gaining damage and stats from killing charmed enemies. And someone suggested trying this out with Venus as a sort of way to have pretty heavy synergy with this character and also looking absolutely fine as hell. Uh, and so I wanted to give that a go. I thought it'd be quite fun. Basically, as this character, you'll see in a minute, we gain damage as we kill charmed enemies, uh, and that damage will slowly fade over time. It's not a permanent thing that we gain, but um, I do think that with Venus, we're going to have the ability to keep our damage relatively high over the course of the runs, and that's going to be kind of fun. And then also, we have Kidney Bean for um, charming enemy you want to get further away from. But I think overall, this is going to be a pretty interesting build. And of course, as you see here, we've started out with a bunch of little friends. Unfortunately, Amnesia off the bat isn't the best, but Botfly? Botfly is definitely not something to tear my nose apart. Um, and as for my question of the day, what's your favourite status effect in The Binding of Isaac? And as an extension of that, what's your favourite status effect in any video game? That's, uh, that's a bit more of a wider question, but I, I think there's just so many potential answers here. Oh, this is kind of an interesting little room here. I, I, I thank, I thank uh, the Isaac gods that I have the one-shot poop um, mod on that allows me to kill poops in one hit, because otherwise this would take absolutely forever. <laughs> Which I, I'm sure it's intended to take absolutely forever, but yeah, I don't, I don't want to go for that. Right, <laughs> let's keep it going here and see. Oh, wow. Okay, good stuff. Our health is looking very healthy. I'm actually somewhat tempted to sack room. I know that obviously with this amount of um, extra... Oh my god. With this amount of extra HP, I should probably just count my blessings and keep it. Oh god. Uh, but I'm like, sack room? I don't know. You tempt me, Sakura. But as you can see here, 5.12 is our maximum damage. That's doubling our damage. So it's, you can kind of think of it as a little bit like a sort of dead eye sort of thing. Whereas instead of accuracy, it's all about making sure we have charmed enemies killed. Uh, also as well, just I, I really like this item, Venus, anyways. Because with Venus, it's, it's just the ability for enemies that normally do contact damage to basically not be able to do so. It's pretty nice. Um, it's pretty nice. So... A lot of these little spider enemies and stuff are nowhere near as big of a threat, but you can see that we're managing to keep our uh, charm effect up quite heavily. Uh, you can also see as well there that we did a little charm fire. So if we hold down fire for a little while and then release, I think it's like three seconds, and then release, we can um, fire off a charm fire as well. So we've got a few different methods for how to charm here. Also, just one moment. I am going to have to pause every now and again because I've been ill the past few days and I'm pretty much over it now, but unfortunately I've got a pretty nasty cough. Um, and recording, obviously, talking a lot, tends to put a little bit of wear on the old vocal uh, vocal cords. And so I'm going to be coughing quite a lot, so I'm going to have to take a pause whenever I do that, just to make sure it's not completely awful for you guys. Uh, and you know what? I'll, I'll gamble. I'll gamble. Um, I think we actually gained dam- I, I think this was just overall amazing. Um, sack room isn't super viable right now. But I am going to go to the shop real quick, considering I do not require a key to get into it. I can't remember where the shop is, actually. Have we seen it yet? I think we have, right? I think we have. I think it's over here. No, it's not. Where the hell's our shop at? Did we ever see our shop? There it is. There it is. I'll do this, just see if we can get, like, a nickel or something. No. Um. Don't know what this, this is. <sighs> this is kind of be a good one here, because this allows us to, um... Upgrade enemies, but I'm just gonna grab this card and see what it is. Let's have a little look, see what that does. Take you to a special death deal room where you must choose um, one out of two to four deals. Each deal requires you to give up one of your items for a new one. Deals may offer you. Ooh. This is interesting because I don't want it to get rid of Venus. So if it does get rid of Venus, I will. Um, <clears throat> I will thingy uh, change it over. Okay, what we got here? So, Remembrance, uh, Small Skull will appear in the room. I mean, we can take this because it's literally, we're like, not losing an item there. Okay, so it was only the one item there. Good, we didn't lose Venus. I like that. That's good stuff. Okay. Uh, and we can maybe spend a little bit of time here if we've got some red hearts about to do a few sacks with our burn heart. I, I know we do have one half red heart somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. Uh, there it is. And... I'm just going to quickly do a, another glance. I know this is a lot of back and forward here. I'm going to do a quick little glance. Okay, so there's another half heart there. And then another half. Okay, we've got, we've got plenty to work with here. I think we are going to try and do a little bit of sack rooming. Uh, just to see what we can get going on. Because, I, I mean, even just the chests that we get out of it could give us some nice little keys and things like that. 
um, give us some nice little bits and bobs to work with. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to pop these as well and see if I can get anything. There's a penny there, but unfortunately not a penny I can reach. Unfortunately, that rotten heart kind of screwed us over a little bit here because we have to take two half red hearts to get to our next next usage here, which I'm not a fan of. But the sack room, I don't know. I, I always like to try and do some interesting stuff with a first floor sack room. It just feels right. But I like the fact that we got um we got PJs removed, which literally wasn't doing anything for us after the fact. And we got that there, and then so we we're, we're on. Two of them right now. We do three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, let's let's just do it. Let's just go for this. Ooh, red chest. I wasn't expecting that. Just some pennies. A. Hey. You see, it's it's simply too worthwhile. It's simply too worthwhile. L look at this. What a start to a run that we have here. What a beautiful, beautiful start to a run. Absolutely amazing. I have to say, though, I've, I've got, like, a different resprite pack on. I'm not a massive fan of that Sacred Heart resprite. I like my old one better. I'll have to go and uh, take a look at changing that back to the one I used to have. But still, very, very good start. I think uh, we will go old path considering the... Um the extra bonuses we've been given here. I think we're on a run that's going to be pretty good. And this uh, this remembrance that we just got here, the forgotten remembrance, you'll see how powerful this ends up becoming later down the line here. But I mean, we're already pretty powerful. I mean, especially once we start killing charmed enemies, we're going to be getting up to double this damage. You can see we get another dude, so we can fire basically what is 2020 essentially. When we get our remembrance, it'll spawn a, like a second into the room somewhere. Once it spawns, we can go and grab it. Obviously, in a lot of rooms, it's not going to matter early on but late game it might matter a little more but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good it's gonna be pretty good so we're hoping to obviously gribbity grab a key here um so that we can get into our item room there but you can see that our damage is gonna be just ludicrous with this setup i mean i didn't expect it to get quite this powerful so soon um <laughs> but i'll certainly not turn my nose up at it if the game wants to give me something this strong um really i was really really hoping this wouldn't be I'll push these closer together in case I do get a bomb, but I don't think there's any way I'm going to uh, get a bomb here. I'm tempted to go into my um, into my cash room here. But I'm going to do my boss first, just because I, I want any way to get into my item room and stuff here. And I think bombing those two stone chests is our absolute best way of doing so right now. We've got another stone chest here. The game's just taunting me right now. This is a reflected pill. It could be good. Right, it's just phantom pains. Doesn't do too much for us. <coughs> oh, we got Kakomancer. Remembrance is going to be really good here. So now we're firing basically 2020. Dude, this... I forget how fast this guy is. There you go. He is dead. Oh, I forget he does that. Oh, did that actually hit me? No way. Oh, it's phantom pains. No, it was phantom pains. Okay. I kind of I kind of pooped myself a little bit there, but phantom pains. Have I back. Uh, I think I'll be sticking on with the angel deal, to be honest, and probably shouldn't have grabbed the soul heart pieces yet, but I'll go... Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I use phantom pains to get into the cash room for free? That is a curious little idea right there, isn't it? That is a curious little idea. So we wait for our next damage. I think we've still got one more on this pill. I think it's 30 seconds. I don't think it's been 30 seconds yet. So I'll hang around for a second here and see if it procs. If it doesn't, I'll pop my other phantom pains. Okay, now I'm going to pop it. Yeah, there you go. And then, um... That would be good if we had a goddamn key. Um, this has been a really, really horrible floor. I'd actually really like that, uh, trinket as well. Wow. No keys, no bombs the entire floor. I don't think there's anything else we can do to gain anything here, either. Um, like, we've got no way of opening those. This is a this is real sad. Real sad. I mean, we get some planetarium chance at least, but we're missing out on some good items here. Um, and some good potential. Which is a real shame. But I, I didn't ever think about Phantom Pains as a means to um, be able to abuse... The iframes to get into cash rooms, but it's a really, really good point. It's something that I need to remember more often that Phantom Pains can be so useful in that scenario. Good. 
range down is not particularly bad with the range that we have right now. I'm not particularly worried about that. Honestly, the Remembrance is not going to be super relevant at the moment. Not until we uh, get later into the game. Ooh, very, very nice. Uh, chance to give uh, Fire Tear Eye Belial effect. Very, very nice. I, I mean, we already have Herming, but the extra damage and piercing is good. And the double chance here is, of course, very, very nice. We like that a lot. Dude, there's a lot of reflected stuff going on right now. What is what is happening? It's like a third reflected thing this entire run. But yeah, the piercing is where it's at. <clears throat> Let's go for our boss here. See, now this is where the remembrance makes sense. My guy, you need to chill out. There you go. And a little bit of HP there, nothing crazy. Are we even going to be able to go to the mines here? Are we even going to be able to go to the mines? I will actually grab this reflected just because I want keys and bombs. And we got bombs at least, so we can we can at least go to our uh, mines floor if we'd like. But keys still heavily elude us. Ooh. Now, the ferryman. The ferryman is is certainly something I'd like to play with the amount of uh, money we have right now. So I would not I would not be uh, too disappointed to check that out. Hey, finally a key. We get an item room. Ooh, Ultra Flesh Kid as well. I do not mind Ultra Flesh Kid at all. Thank you. Although the cube would have been pretty good. But Ultra Flesh Kid is going to be pretty good. Um, he will eat up all of our red hearts and eventually evolve to the point of being kind of like a super meat boy. He becomes pretty powerful. And am I actually going to go and do Mother this time round? Tears up. Lovely stuff. I think so. I think so. I think the boss is reasonably plausible here. Um, where's my holy mantle? Okay, there you go. Let's go into my cash room real quick here. It was a combat room, so I'll have to reapply the, the fire effect. Boom. Okay. This is a very, very cool run so far. I am liking it. I mean, just Sacred Heart first floor. You can never deny, this is why the sack room, if there's even an inkling, even a small chance that it's viable to play it, you should. It's it's potentially so unbelievably valuable that it just, it makes no sense to ever avoid it. Right. We grab that. I'm probably going to go do the boss again, like I said, I think the boss was pretty easy. Um, and especially if we grab a remembrance, it should be no problem at all. Dude, this trinket being gold is amazing. I love the fact that if you get a reflected uh, item, rather the reflected items, for those of you that don't know, are from the um, the sewer pack, the sewer collection uh, mod. And um, yeah, it just gives it a chance for an item to be reflected. And if you touch it, you take damage, but it doubles it. And trinkets specifically always double into a golden version. What makes you smaller? Not bad at all. There's a remembrance. Yeah. Easy peasy, another fire rate up. This is a pretty god tier run we've got going on right now. So I'm going to check my shop before I spend money on... Do you know what? Actually, let's do a few extra rooms here. Because they're not exactly hard for us. And we might get a little bit more money and then we can do both. <clears throat> There's no no reason to, uh, to limit ourselves here. I mean, also, the extra keys I'm very, very, very appreciative of. Because we've been struggling. <laughs> we've been struggling for keys. Right. Let's go back through our mirror, and yeah, so I'll check out my shop first, just in case it's a really good shop item, but otherwise I will do um, our ferryman, because the ferryman challenges, if you complete them, can reward you with angel items, which is of course pretty goddamn useful. Can you chill out with all this? I don't remember where the ferryman was actually, it's in this room all the way at the below of the L-shaped room, I think. I think any think. After this, I have... Some good old plans for today, I'm going to be doing a lot and a lot of playing Baldur's Gate. Now, unfortunately, this isn't what we want, but we can at least buy the Soul Heart and still be able to afford the Ferryman. It only costs 10, I believe. Um, which I still think is incredibly cheap. I think the Ferryman should be at least 15. Ah, uh, Flesh Kid, grab that Red Heart. There you go, boy. There you go. Right. There you go. So if you haven't seen the Ferryman before, um, many of you have, but I know there's some new people watching now. Basically, this is a challenge in which we pay, and we've got four different rooms that we've got to go through, little portals, and we've got to save these little ghosts. Each ghost we save will give us some consumables. If we save all four, we get an item, potentially from the angel pool. Um, so in a scenario like this, this is kind of awful. Hmm. 
Okay, actually, no, we're fine. No, we're not fine. Oh, man. I thought that would be easy. So we now can't get the item. That's that, that's like, uh, that's it for the item. It's gone. Which is annoying, because like literally any of the combat-based rooms would be absolutely flawless, at, as you can clearly see. But the, um, the puzzle-based rooms, I'm not so good at. But we do get a bunch of consumables out of this, which is why I think that, that a cost of only 10 is, is absolutely obscene for how much you get out of these. I think it's way too low. Um, the balance of these rooms is a little bit iffy, but they're fun. You just get so much bang for your buck. Range up as well, lovely. Yeah, see, the other three rooms were, like, super easy. If I'd have got that first room, it could have been in with a chance of something good. Either way, that was still useful. We got plenty of keys. We got good bombs. We are good to move on. And I think we are definitely going to go mines here. I think going for a mother run seems pretty uh, pretty plausible here. I think we have a pretty strong run. A pretty strong run for this one. Bomb that bad boy. Okay. Ah, there was a there was a red a red rock there. Could have got a cracked key. Oopsie daisy. We don't have phantom pains anymore. We do need to change our active because because uh, with Venus we don't actually really need our active to give us um. We don't actually need our active to give us charm and stuff. So. Hey, you actually to unlock both of those there. You did actually hit me there, but I'm not that bothered. We do have a, a, a poop heart, by the way. A soiled heart, which is why we're getting random dips. Swallowed M80. Not quite as good as the Eye of Belial stuff we've got going on right now, which is clearly very, very strong. Especially in busy rooms, there's a lot of uh, enemies. Oh, dude, the charm, baby. I want to get more charm synergy. I want to see if we can get anything else that's going to help us with charm. Oh, there's apparently still enemies in this room that I never noticed. I think they were all, like, in the dark corners at the back of the room. And in here we get Crazy Jackpot. Eh. On hit, random effects happen. It's it's not particularly good. I always find it interesting that Ultra Flesh Kid doesn't seek out the hearts. Instead, the hearts get sucked towards him. It's a bit different than what you'd normally expect in Isaac. <clears throat> I forget what these guys do, but yeah, I'm going to say it's not good. So our random effect is going to be nothing. We didn't, we didn't hit the jackpot there. But you can get some really good stuff from the jackpot item, potentially. But we don't need to do all of our rooms here, considering... Um... Oh, wow. You uh, kind of nuked yourself there. Oh, we got another golden trinket here. This time we have Fuzzy Penny, although it doesn't specifically specify what the golden version does. It's unfortunate. Back we go. I was going to say we don't need to do all the rooms here, but we've been forced to go back this way anyway. So we're going to be end, end up doing most of the rooms anyhow. The good thing is at the minute, we don't really need any more damage. I'd love to get Deadeye alongside this, just so we've got this like weird, crazy scaling damage all the time. That'd be, uh, and we'd be able to get up to, I think, triple, or would it be quadruple damage? I'm not actually sure, like, the order of operations, which one would work first, sort of thing. Because it might be that my, <clears throat> the damage we gain from... Having uh, having enemies charmed, being killed, then gets duplicated more by the um, by the dead eye d damage multiplier. I'm not exactly sure. Stat down pills grant damage. Oh, that's actually pretty. Okay, so is that just false PhD as a trinket? That is uh, it's interesting because it it doesn't make all pills bad. So it's kind of like a half. It's kind of like a half truth. 60% chance to apply bleeding and brimstone's curse. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, ooh, we've got an item here. It's an active item as well. I'm intrigued by this. Okay, what we got? What we got here? Hold the love. Um, hold the letter and throw it in a in the shooting direction. The letter doesn't deal damage. If the letter touches an enemy, all enemies of that type become charmed until um, you use secret love letter on another enemy. Charmed enemies are saved between rooms and levels. The charm effect. Oh, okay. What was I just saying about charm? So now we have a way of permanently charming an entire type of enemies, which admittedly on Fiend Folio isn't quite as strong as it would be otherwise. Because um, on Fiend Folio, there's just so many enemy varieties that we don't see the same enemies that often. By the way, this, this, this is just a 
very frustrating room right now. <laughs> I've clearly gone the wrong way around this, but I'm very intrigued by this, and we can charm bosses for a short time as well, although that was exceedingly short. But this, like, doing it on, like, flies or spiders or dips or whatever could be really, really good, because having those charmed more often, they, they appear in quite a number of rooms, even into the late game, so... Seems like it could be pretty interesting. Okay, not a brimstone, thank you. Tropical Maya, nothing special, but we'll take it. Right, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Okay, this guy's gonna be a nightmare. Oh my god. Okay, leave the room before the rest of those fall, because otherwise, lag will befall us forever. And yeah, when we're on the alt path, it makes it a little harder to use this active item as well, to be honest. Dude, we are getting so many pills. Uh, back, back up to normal size. Back up to normal size. Grab that real quick. We love this. We love this. And the bomb there. Pretty beautiful. And our last piece. We get ourselves a trink. I, I don't think I've ever seen that get Normally it gives an item. I don't think I've ever seen it give a trinket before. That's kind of unfortunate. Hey, our, our little fella just leveled up. Okay, what are we going to use our love letter on? We need to find an appropriate enemy. Because at the minute we're finding a lot of uh, enemies that aren't going to be too common. Another ferryman here. I mean... You've got to give me a second chance. Excuse me, there you go. You've got to give me a second chance at glory. Last time, your, your bloody spike trap room messed me up. But this time, this time I have it. I have it in the bag. Ooh, actually, I've got an interesting idea here. So the portal type enemies show up a lot with this. So my, my curiosity here is if I just charm one of the portal enemies... Oh, no, it just died straight away. That didn't really work. Is there another portal enemy? No, it's just you. Oh, what? I didn't get to open the chest. Whoa, three keys. Okay. Proving to be relatively easy for us here. It looks like we're on our way to get that item, but you never know what the last room could hold. Oh, no, do not give me that trinket. That would be evil. Okay. I think we're good. There you go, baby. And our item shall be... We take damage from it, a shout that hurts enemies and knocks them back. Grants an increasing damage based on um, for having t lower total health. Okay. Doesn't give us any damage right now. It requires... Oh, you... No, so this is a not... This is a double whammy. Not only did I just accidentally pick up the tick, which is now stuck to me, but that trinket is now in a room I can't get back to. So even if... Even if by some miracle I get the matchbook, um, or the, um... What's it called? To get the tick off. I can't even get that trinket back, so... Thank you for screwing me sufficiently there, game. I didn't see it because it was, like, underneath something. I don't know what it was underneath, but... Oh, man. How dare you, tick? I was having fun with that trinket. It was very good. <laughs> How dare you? Ah, oh, I bloody missed with my card. Okay, that's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> that's gonna happen a lot, but yeah, that's... And then you give me safety scissors while I'm on the mines as well. Oh, this is truly a depressing sight. Wow, this is, uh, this is saddening to me. Ooh, Gideon's gaze is pretty good here. In fact, it will kill these two right now, won't it? Yeah, there you go. Chance to give us a black heart when uh, Gideon gaze procs as well. It destroys any and all um, grimaces. Although, I will say, why are we getting so many trinkets in room drops now? I will say, it's not the best thing ever. Because some grimaces are actually required for room completion. Like some gr some rooms are designed around grimaces, so it can it can create some issues there. But 
In situations like that, it's pretty good. A little annoying that I didn't manage to get the uh, thingy there. The black heart. Oh, man. I'm so annoyed we lost that trinket. What a great trinket to have lost in such a stupid way. Very upsetting. Very upsetting. Right. Back to the boss. Oh, man. I, like, it's, it, what's worse is that I, I, I foreshadowed it. I said, ooh, don't want to touch that. I, I, I made it clear that that was a plausibility. And then the moment I went to leave, I just, I got so sort of focused on just, like, beelining it to the boat to leave that I didn't even think about where it was anymore. Oh, man. Evil game. I mean, we're still very, very strong. It's not diminished our power all that much. It is a little annoying. Um, angel deal here. What could you have for us? When enemies die, other enemies are downgraded. Ooh, very, very nice. Um, and then we've got this, which unfortunately is pretty terrible for us right now because we don't have a lot of money. So we're just going to get a luck upgrade. And mausoleum. We'll go down and we'll give ourselves... Give knife... Piece two. By the way, if you're wondering why I do that, the, um... The knife piece uh, journey, like the knife piece chase chase scene on Mines 2, is really, really laggy when you're playing with a lot of mods, and so I just avoid it now. Also, it's just kind of tedious, and I I've done it a million times already. I don't need to be doing it again. We still need to use a good th uh, find a good thing to use our letter on here. Ooh, flatstone's kind of fun. That is from one of the mods that adds uh, d chest pools. Ooh, this this is a decent one here. Let's uh, let's hold off until we find a decent. Wait, did that not hit you? Did that seriously not hit you? How? I'm a little baffled by how that didn't hit hit you just then. It's a bit annoying. We'll finally get to use this letter on an appropriate enemy at some point. Trust me. Who we got left. There you go. Not too bad. There's plenty of enemies on these floors that we can use the letter on. Oh, I'm getting hit a lot. I'm actually pretty low on health here. I'm actually pretty low on health. But we are getting in damage from our um, little skull item we just received earlier, though. Don't need a one makes you larger, thank you. See, now that's, that's what we want to see. Permanently charmed versions of those because having those charmed is actually really nice and they stick between rooms with us Which is really really useful because they actually do block damage deep pockets lovely um, But me making all of them in the future also charmed is pretty goddamn nice I like it. I think that was worthwhile for the next floor or two We are gonna have to deal with a lot less of those guys and they are going to help us significantly, especially, as I said, with my particularly low health right now. I need to be a, a little more careful about where my health currently sits. Honestly, my Flesh Kid's got to be pretty close to max rank as well. He's uh, He's been doing his thing for a little while now, and I think he's only got one more rank to go. Ooh, hello. You could be useful. I'm not going to spend my money on you yet, but there's certainly a world in which I would. That world is getting pretty close. Beautiful. Okay, I'm probably going to take the random item here. Seems more fitting. Um... Oh, Furton. Now, Furton's kind of an interesting one here. Because Furton gives us these shots where basically we, we have instant travel speed in our shots. But that is going to make our homing not quite as effective, obviously. But... The damage overall should still be good, and it does still home. It's just not going to be as effective. Right, so we'll check this out first. Greed's Butt. I'm glad I didn't spend my money there. Greed's Butt is fantastic. That's some really, really heavy protection for us there. We'll also grab a Soul Heart here. We Honestly, with the um, with the little protector enemies that are charmed and uh, Greed Butt here, our low health doesn't actually matter all that much anymore. We're in a position of power right now. But this is a really, really good idea. This active item is a really, really good idea for an item. And it's, like I said, a very fitting run. Um, a very fitting run to get it on. I was asking for more charm-related stuff, and the game decided that it was time for me to get some. Ah, oh, we got some crows in here. 
Unfortunate. But yeah, it's been, it's been a very long time since I've seen Furton. It's an item that I really like. It got a pretty heavy rework, um, like a couple of months back. Uh, it used to be a lot... I, it used to be still fun, but like... It, it used to actually just increase your shot speed to insane levels rather than it being like a new tier modifier. It, it's a, it was a bit more glitch, like glitchy before. Oh, warp zone, hello. Yeah, we're still dealing good damage. We still do get a bit of herming here. It's just not quite the same anymore. But you can still see, like, we're demolishing enemies right now, so... Not a problem there at all. Have our remembrance again. Larry? Yeah, it's always Larry second. Would be nice to get a little bit more damage up, by the way. Like, our damage is fine right now, obviously, but, like, damage ups are just so valuable with Sacred Heart. They, like, they give you so much, so a damage up here would be really, really nice. Unfortunately, that is not a damage up, but we have taken quite a lot of good pills here, so there's a decent chance we get, yeah, I was just thinking about that, a tears up. Shot speed up doesn't matter too much. We've got seven luck right now, wow. Okay, um, let's keep it going. We don't want to charm any other enemies because these uh, these bishops are still going to be our primary target for this next floor. Hey, well, let's see. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm confused. Why are all these bishops not charmed? That w Maybe these bishops are slightly different or something? I would have thought that they'd all be charmed, but they weren't. Why did that penny get scooted away from me there? Lovely stuff, and a black heart as well. Good, good. Mini Isaacs, we like it. Hell yes, I'll take that, thank you. Oh, you're getting a bit close. Yeah, obviously, with with any sort of herming, super high shot speed is never a good thing, so we are losing quite a lot on our herming here, but that damage is still high, and obviously it wasn't super... Evo it, it was like... Pretty um, unavoidable for us. Hold up here, hold up. Nah, we'll just kill him. I was, I was, I was planning on maybe t changing over that cultist there, but we didn't have enough time in that room. Hey, see, he hit me, but no damage because the bishop saves my life. And in here we get cracked orb, which I'm not that interested in either. Sulfuric acid, though. Now that's pretty nice. Sulfuric acid is going to give us some secret room entry. And the like. Trying to fill up our greed butt. Fill, fill, fill her up. That was a secret room as well. This is a, a real double whammy for us there. Unfortunately, not the best reward from that chest. But let's have a look what we've got going on here. Three of spades. Mm, nah, I, th I, I don't really want to play you. Right. Ooh, we can get Sulfuric Acid going on uh, this rock here. Ooh, coming down is having an issue here. Don't attack my bishops, please. They are sacred. And we get an angel deal here. Very, very nice. And we'll, of course, take the negative here. Wasn't expecting an angel deal here. Not the best items, but um, I do think that the Divine Intervention has some use cases. It's, it's an item that I used to heavily underrate, and it is actually better than anticipated. If you can use it in the right scenarios. Essentially, if you tap shoot with it always, you can barrel stuff bosses and enemies in order to knock back their shots immediately, but also deal some decent contact damage. Not anything to be... Turned up, not anything to turn your nose apart. So yeah, our flesh kid is max level now. You can tell by if it's not him no longer eating hearts. Kind of interesting that the void portal still stays there. But we do not need the void right now, thank you. And we do want to be changing over our um I mean that train just absolutely decimated our bishop there. But we do want to be changing over the enemies that we um that we charm here. Obviously, maggots, while they are high in quantity aren't the most interesting to charm here. We'll be looking for ones that are going to be a little bit more valuable, which I'm not exactly sure what that'll be. I'm not exactly sure what that'll be. Just keep our eyes peeled for the right enemy. I'm liking this degrading thing where it's like constantly degrading the enemies when we kill other enemies nearby. 
proving to be quite useful. See, now this is a good one. Did I hit with anything there? I don't know if I did. Wait. Is, is my card being affected by Photon? Like, and launching at ridiculous speeds, and that's why I've been missing. Because it seems like that's what just happened. My, my greed butt is refilled. Oh, hello. Right, we're hoping for more grimaces here so that we can... Ah, oh, it's going to be a problem. Hoping for more grimaces here so that we can get some more hearts back. Oh, hello, we'll do this. Never know, it could be good. Oh my god, what happened there? I think we uh, managed to downgrade some of those enemies into nothing. And here we get crawl space. We'll just pop that right now. Have a few pennies here. Crawl space, what do you have for us? Nothing really useful. Those glasses uh, are good, but like on boss fights, they're not going to be good. And really, we're only worried about the boss fight now. At least we have the um, the tick, which is going to mean the boss has less health. See, what we could do here is this. Yeah, it, it furtons it. Our card turns into a furton projectile, which is not good at all. It's making it a lot harder to hit. And in fact, might even make it impossible to hit, which is a very big shame. Not how I expected that to work. Certainly. Honestly, deep pockets with greed, but really good combination. Okay, just kill all of us. Thank you. Boss time, let's go. Ooh, Mr. Dead. I do like Mr. Dead. A very interesting chappy. One thing I bet's gonna happen with our remembrance on the uh, on the boss fight when we get to Mother is it's gonna end up spawning behind Mother or something, isn't it? Star treat, not bad. And then stigmatism or stigmata, sorry. Stigmatism's a bit different. <clears throat> I'm thinking of that thing you get in your eye. Well, is it your eye or is it your pupil? An astigmatism. It's that, that's the thing. Do you, do you know like when you're like in a car or like late at night you're walking down the street um, and all of the lights are like are really streaky in your vision? That's because you have an astigmatism. I didn't know that for a while, but now I do. Did take a bit of stupid damage there. Right, let's try and just hit one of these. Okay, that did work that time. All of these maggots are mine now. So it's just a little hard as a hit, but it does still work. Good old Yu-Gi-Oh card, which is going to give us Empress. I think I'm probably going to go with... Uh, why do I need the Magician? I've already got Herming. Okay, I guess I'm going to go with the Empress instead then. <laughs> stupid. This little army of maggots here. Lovely stuff. And a black heart to boot as well. Yes, please. Dude, the radius on the downgrading thing. Oh my god, look at that. The radius on the downgrading enemies thing is actually huge. It's a, like, I can't, I actually can't believe that items class as quality 2. I think it's way, way better than quality 2. Because it just, it just makes so many more enemies in the late floors, like, way easier. Okay. Interesting room. I just kind of stood still and fired forward there. Let's keep it moving. We're doing a beautiful job of this run, I think. I think this run's pretty much set in stone here. In fact, something I didn't even realise. I could just be doing this. <laughs> there you go, there's the boss. Righty ho, it's the boss time. Let's give it a go. Okay. So our Remembrance did spawn behind us this time, but you only get Remembrance for a short amount of time and then it, it, it changes position. But we've still got to keep be wary. That was a bad hit by me there. That'll get spawned in a good place again there. Lovely. 
And thankfully, we skipped the most annoying attack by far. Man, the first time that attack happened to me when I was playing uh, playing this boss for the first time when Repentance came out, my god, it just absolutely decimated me. I mean, to be fair, Mother in general, I, I genuinely thought was like a ridiculous boss because obviously anyone that played Anti-Birth that, that Repentance is based on, Mother used to have a much larger room and everyone was expecting it to still have a larger room and it didn't. It's kind of like, oh damn, this has become much, much harder because of the smaller room. My room is on the floor there. Are you trying to use my iframes to grab it? Probably not the best idea. My jackpot do be pissing all over the floor. Bad bomb there. Greed butt. I don't even know how you re uh, upped yourself, to be honest. Can I, can I just get the remembrance? Stop. It's bashed it away like twice now. It's, it's in the wind. Also, can you not sit quite so close to me, my guy? Making this attack very, very hard to dodge. Just don't do it again. Okay, no, he didn't at least. How have I managed to shoot the bomb towards me? How does that make any logical sense? <clears throat> okay, we're in the home stretch now. There you go, baby. A little bit harder on the boss fight there than I was expecting, but that run... That room was pretty lovely. I think first floor, um, first floor Sacred Heart is never going to be bad. I hope you guys did enjoy though. I'll see you guys in the next one.